As you've already figured out by now, product targeting is really, really good in terms of a strategic approach to advertising on Amazon. You can target specific brands, categories, as well as ASINs. Now we will be deep diving into how you can use all three of these category targeting, ASIN targeting, brand targeting to drive more sales to your own product. Amazon marketing is a competitive and ever evolving landscape which requires all the sellers to adapt really quickly to it and for this PPC campaigns play a major role because they happen to be the most popular advertising format on Amazon which is used by both sellers as well as vendors to drive traffic to their retail pages. Now when it comes to advertising one of the underdogs that I would like to talk about would be ASIN targeting. ASIN targeting gives you granular control of your PPC campaigns and helps you drive more profits while optimizing your ACoS. It also helps you refine where your ads are placed on Amazon. In today's session, we will be taking a deep dive into Amazon sponsored product targeting ads. Without further ado, let's begin. So let's start off by discussing what exactly does product targeting mean? What is this thing that every Amazon guru is discussing about? Product targeting basically helps you target specific brands, categories, as well as price ranges, reviews and variations to get your product the better visibility and make the most of your ad spend. Let's take an example to help us understand better. For example, you are a seller and you are selling, say, a phone case. Now, one way to go about product targeting would be to get your product listed in electronics category. Another one would be to use the keyword SpyGen. Why so? Because SpyGen is something that has similar products or complementary products to what you are planning on selling. What else you can do with this particular category is look at targeting product reviews, product variations, as well as product price ranges. Now, as a seller, what you can do to make the most of this particular category is A, you can strategically find the products which are from weaker competition or are complementary to your particular product. Now, you can also use this to target your own ASINs to protect your brand in the niche industry. Lastly, you can use product targeting to get your product listed on competitors and use and leverage their visibility to drive more visibility to your own products and get better sales. Now, when I talk about the advantages of product targeting, the first one would be wider reach with greater ease. What I talk about here would be the fact that you get reached to a broader audience by choosing an entire category, right? And this will help you increase your market share. And you will also be able to reach so much more audience with just a single click in terms of a category as compared to a keyword. Let's use an example of say water bottle. Now what happens with water bottle in terms of keyword targeting is that you only get access to say the first page where all the results get displayed when the search term is inserted. But when you do targeting using product targeting ads, you get to target specific ASINs, not just on the first page of the search term answers, but also on a product detail page. This will A, get you better visibility, to increase the chances for you to get higher sales via this. The second advantage would be segmentation. Now you can target your products using target market, which will be based on different factors like consumer behavior, product usage, or their interests. And lastly, you can also use product targeting for maximizing your brand awareness. This you can do by two ways. Number one, showing your own products on different products that you are selling, which will help a consumer look at the entire brand portfolio at one go. Second way of doing this would be showing up your products on your competitor's listing to increase more brand awareness for your products. Now that we have discussed all the benefits of product targeting, let's have a look at some of the use cases. This will help you better understand what you can do to use product targeting for strengthening your PPC strategy going forward. The first use case would be maximizing attention to your product launch and increasing your brand awareness. Now, when you're launching a new product, it is very important that this product gets a lot of visibility to generate maximum sales during this period and increase its sales cycle going forward. To do this, what you can do is you can look at product targeting and use this to target popular brands or similar products in your niche and benefit from the visibility that these products or brands are getting. Now, the second thing would be to explore your competitor's market space. This is one of the most common use of product targeting ads. What you really have to do here is you have to do thorough research to find which products do you want to target. Always do research using number one, the automatic campaign search term reports to find the ASINs which are high converting for you. Okay, after this, think twice before you plan on targeting a product which has say better reviews than yours or is lower price than yours. On the flip side, look at products which have weaker ratings and reviews 
or a higher price than yours so you can position yourself as a product which is a better alternative to these the third thing which is again a very smart move that you should definitely make as it is quite strategic would be defending your own market share what i mean here is target your own products so that your competitors do not ever get the chance to even run ads on them find your products which are high converting which get you good sales have good reviews good ratings which makes them so attractive that even if a competitor is trying to run ads on them your product is easily placed as the better alternative as you've already figured out by now product targeting is really really good in terms of a strategic approach to advertising on amazon you can target specific brands categories as well as asins now we will be deep diving into how you can use all three of these category targeting asin targeting brand targeting to drive more sales to your own products so asin targeting asin targeting basically helps you target specific asins which you want your ad to show up for in this segment we will discuss the best strategies when it comes to asin targeting for you to get the most out of your ad advertising budget and drive more sales to your products now the first strategy for asin targeting is to target your asins manually So to do this you have to first identify the asins which are high converting for you based on your automatic targeting campaigns to do this download your sponsored product search term report into an excel and then find the high converting asins for you and then target them manually very important to note here is the fact that in your manual campaigns you can only put in your asins in upper case so the second thing here would be finding your low performing asins and put them in negative targeting Just the way that your high converting asins strike the most for you, your low converting asins can really bleed your ad campaigns. So you want to identify using the same sponsored product search term reports that you generated previously, and then you can put them in negative asins under your negative targeting feature to prevent your campaign from losing money. The third one is again targeting your own asins. Now, if you actually look at your own brand, you've built up a brand which has a lot of complementary products. You need to find your highest converting asins and target them against each other. This will help you upsell your product and it will also help competition stay away from your listings so that all your sales are directed only to you and they do not get to devour any of your sales in the process. And the last strategy in terms of asin targeting would be targeting asins where you can show and have a competitive edge for yourself. When I say this, I'm talking about competitor products where your asin is doing better. in terms of factors like pricing reviews as well as your ratings how do you go about identifying these metrics number 1 in terms of your pricing look at products which are higher priced than yours as most consumers would definitely be looking for a better alternative which is affordable for them right number 2 in terms of your ratings and reviews look for products with weaker ratings with worse reviews than yours and place your product there because it shows that your product has been reviewed and rated way better than this particular product Last thing is looking at listings. If a particular ha- product happens to have inferior listing than yours, this is something that you should definitely be targeting. Moving on, let's talk about category targeting. Now in category targeting, you get the advantage of targeting your own product categories as well as brands that are similar to your products. When you're launching a new product, it is very important for you to drive traffic to that product. What you can do with category targeting in this would be that you find detail pay product detail pages which already have good traffic on them position your ad strategically there and drive that traffic to your own product this will help you build credibility in the longer run another thing is that not every customer on amazon is coming and looking at a particular product they're also searching products and filtering them by categories so when you target a particular category you get the advantage of being able to reach a wider audience and being able to use category targeting for better reach to your products so the second thing is to look at products where you definitely have an edge when you're doing your category targeting don't just look at top level categorization filter the categories as you go to find brands where you can target different filters such as their ratings their reviews and their pricings for example target a product where you have a lower pricing than them with similar ratings and reviews or target products which have say weaker reviews and ratings than yours so that you are there as a better alternative now let's discuss about refining your targets category targeting also gives you the option to refine your targets based on different factors let's talk about three for today the first one is brand targeting here you look at brands which are in the same domain as you and are doing much better as compared to your products and target those particular brands to drive the traffic to your products and get better sales Second is price targeting. If you have similar functionality and equivalent quality of a product while another product is say priced higher than yours, 
You can target those products and suggest yourself as a good alternative. Lastly, when it comes to ratings and reviews, if there are other products that are in similar categories and from brands that are different from yours, what you can do is look for products which have weaker ratings and reviews and target those to get better conversions for your products. So that pretty much covers all that I wanted to discuss about Amazon PPC sponsored product targeting ads. Amazon is always enhancing and coming up with improved versions of different ways of helping sellers grow on Amazon. As a seller, take it as your responsibility to make the most of these. For example, when it comes to product targeting ads, it gives you precise control over your products because you can go and run your campaigns based on different product variations in themselves. Make the most use of this to get better visibility, reduce your ACoS and increase your market share at the same time. Thank you so much for watching our video. We are always thankful for all the encouragement that we get from you for all the guide videos that we do. In case you haven't, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel and get our seller community growing. Thank you so much for watching today's video and happy selling till I see you for the next time.